How do you create a custom section head family? That's the topic for today. And I'm going to show you how to convert a section head family like this into something like this. We're going to create a new section head family that has a filled triangle and a label text called view name. You're also going to use the same section head family for the tail, but without the name. Can we use the same section head family and switch on and off the label text? Watch till the end of this video to know that trick. Let's begin. When you select a section line and go to its type properties, you'll see that there is a section tag. This section tag is a combination of a section head and section tail. You can have the same symbol for section head and tail, or you can choose to have them different. To customize a section head, we'll have to go and create a new section head family. Under annotations folder, you'll find a section head family template. The note here indicates that the system section line is going to come here and trim itself to this right reference plane. So it's important that you do not move or to remove these two reference planes. On the left reference plane, however, can be resized as per your requirement. I'm going to delete this note and these lines before I want to create my own custom shape. Let's say my triangle is about six millimeters in its length. So I'm going to take this reference plane and make it about six millimeters in its width. So now I'm ready to create my shape. Because I want my triangle to be filled, I'm going to use filled region. I'm going to make my line six millimeters in its length, and it's going to be about 30 degrees in its angle. So I have my triangle here. I'm going to finish this. The filled region that I'm using is a solid black here. If you don't have the solid black by default, you can always come back to this fill region, duplicate its type, choose a foreground fill pattern, a solid fill and color, whichever that you like. I'm using the black. Now we have the shape of our triangle, but we want to add a label that reports a value of a parameter called view name. So I will go under create tab under label. I'm going to position my parameter here. I'm going to choose view name as my parameter. You can also choose any other parameters, whichever you would like to report. I'm going to say okay to this. This is a little bit too big, so I'm going to select my label, edit the type, duplicate. I'm going to make it 2.5 millimeters in its text size. I'm also going to make the background transparent so that it doesn't block any model geometry that we might have in the project. Now I'm going to make reposition using my arrow keys and make it slightly below my triangle. Now we are ready to load it into the project, so I'm going to save it, give it a name, section head triangle. I'm going to load it into my project. Now we want to apply this particular symbol to our section head. So let's go ahead, select a section line, go to the type properties and choose the section tag. Let's duplicate this before using. I'm going to make it building section custom. And the section head that I want to use is the one that I just created, section head triangle. The symbol has changed, but the text does not look correct. I think it should be rotated with the component in the direction that it is showing. Let's go back to the family editor. Make sure that rotate text with component parameter is switched on. Let's load it back into the project and overwrite the existing version. Now much better. By using rotate text with component, we are ensuring that the text is always aligned with the symbol that we are using. Now this feature is really available only after Revit 2019 and above. So if you're using any versions before, this function may not really work as I've shown it to you. Now we have changed the section head. Now we want to go back and change the section tail. To do this, I'll go back to my type properties, go to the section tail and use the same section head triangle symbol for my section tail. But here, I see my view name on both sides. Now for the section head, it's okay to have a view name on one side. For section tail, I want to switch it off. How do I do it? Let's go back to the family editor. Let's choose our label text. There's a parameter called visible. I'm going to make it parametric so that I can control it. I'm going under this associate family parameter button all the way right towards your parameter. Click on it and create a new parameter called label. I'm going to choose it to be a type parameter. So now the visibility of the tape label is controlled by this parameter. Let's go to this family types button. I'm going to create a new type 
with label where the label is switched on and another type without label where I'm going to switch off my label and apply this. Now when I load my family into the project, I will have two types already available with label and without label. I'm going to say OK to this and load it back into the project. Let's select one of our sections. Go to its section tag. Choose the section head as with label and section tail without label. Now you see the benefit of creating a parameter within the family so that we can use the same family for two different purposes. I'm going to say OK to this. So now we have a section head which has a view name and section tail that does not. From the last few episodes, we already learned how to customize a grid head, a level head and a section head. The next episode is going to be about customizing elevation mark. So please make sure that you subscribe, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.